Why can't Sylvester Stallone and Richard Gere stand each other? The story of a half-century-old conflict. Conflicts between actors on the set, a common thing for Hollywood. As a rule, they are settled quickly and do not stretch for many years, but not in this case. The movie Lords of Flatbush, 1974, could be the first feature film in the career of Richard Gere. The young actor just came to the big movie, having glowed before that only in a couple of television projects. Sylvester Stallone, who was also signed for a role in Lords, in Lords of Flatbush, had a little more experience but was also new to Hollywood. It so happened that the future stars did not match the characters. The budget of the movie Lords of Flatbush was only $160,000, so it called little-known actors. The picture told a local story about four tough guys of the 50s who build themselves the masters of life. However, the ostensible coolness does not save their nabriolinini heads from quite domestic problems. One got his girlfriend pregnant, the second suffers from unrequited love. In short, this is a life movie about guys from the neighborhood. Sylvester Stallone was originally cast as Stanley and Richard Gere as Chico. It would not have been a bad acting duo if Gere had not literally lived in the role. On the set of Young and Hot, Richard behaved very brazen and swagger. Most often he bullied Stallone, who did not like it at all. In one scene, Gear pushed his partner hard and almost started a real fight. The conflict was settled, but not for long. Clashes between the guys continued until they led to the logical apotheosis. Filming in the winter of 1973 was held in Coney Island, Brooklyn, and it was very cold. Warm up the actors could only in the back seat of an old Toyota, where they often spent their lunch break. After rehearsing one of the scenes, Stallone took a hot dog and comfortably settled in the car to eat a snack. Gear sat down next to him with half a fried chicken thickly smeared with mustard. The grease was literally oozing out out of the aluminum liner. Sylvester warned his partner that if even a drop of fat got on his jeans, Richard would get the full brunt of it. Naturally, after the first bite, a stream of grease sprayed down Stallone's pants. Just a second later, the furious actor elbowed his colleague and roughly pushed him out of the car. After this, Sylvester Stallone said the director of the movie that he refuses to shoot with the naked gear and demanded to kick him out immediately. Lover of Fat Chicken fired from the picture, and his role was given to Perry King, with whom the Italian stallion conflicts were not. Since then, for almost 50 years, Sylvester Stallone and Richard Gere in the spirit do not tolerate each other. In my opinion, the described situation is not worth it, and the cult actors could have made up a long time ago. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments, put likes, and be sure to subscribe to our channel.